Nice to welcome back uh, Derek Rodenizer uh, from Heritage Academy of Learning Excellence back to the show. I remember this interview uh, from last year just because I think so many parents are kind of looking forward for their kids into the, the school year, hoping that they they're enjoy going to school, that they want to be able to go, and that learning becomes uh, something that they can do and, and, and do well. But for some kids, there's, uh, there are cer certain learning disabilities that make it more difficult, make it the, the anxiety and the stress of going to school a lot more difficult. And this is where you guys come in. Your academy has really reached out to these families and to these kids. Is that right? That's right. That's right. We work uh, with students with learning disabilities, dyslexia, ADHD, ADD, uh, and anxiety, and all sorts of other challenges that people might have. Uh, what, what are we looking at in terms of the grades or where you're seeing the children coming in? Uh, we teach grades 1 through 12. Uh, we see a, a lot of students in grade uh, 6, 7, 8 as a big uh, push. Um, but we really are trying to get the understanding out there that when people come in at an earlier time, when they come in with primary grades, they can really get that foundation solid. When you when you see these parents coming in, what is usually their first concern, or what are some of the trigger points that they say this is this is what we were finding, and this is why we were looking for your services? Uh, frustration is generally sort of the main thing that comes across. Um, the research is out, and there is no connection to intellect and learning disabilities. So if you're dyslexic and you can't read, that doesn't mean that you're not uh, intellectual and really smart. And so this is normally what parents are saying. saying. I have this child who's very smart and is very capable, but having a really hard time in school and can't get that across to the teacher or the evaluator. But what, which makes it very difficult because that seems to be the main thing, right, is that you're looking at the, you know, how they're able to read and then, and then from there it's, it's reading textbooks and then understanding the material that's coming. And that it, it then increases the, the child's anxiety and stress level and, and so the two really go hand in hand. Right, most of our schooling is set up with reading to learn uh, when a lot of these students are just trying to learn to read. Uh, and so there are a whole bunch of different other ways that you can learn. Um, instead of just focusing on a text-based system, we really try to do it at our school and encourage other people as well to use a bunch of different uh, systems. So whether they're hearing out loud or whether they're seeing a video or whether they're doing something hands-on um, as well as text-based, so it's not just the one sort of learning. What's the reaction you get from these students once uh, things start to, to trigger or that they, they realize that their the brain's working differently now but it opens up a whole new world for them? Normally it's a big sense of relief. Um, one thing that's really nice is coming into a class where everybody has some kind of challenge or is at least open to that uh, sort of challenge, so people really appreciate that. And secondly, having that realization that when I, what I told them, that, that uh, just because you have a learning disability doesn't mean you're not smart, is true. And they start to feel that, and it's, it's great to see. It, you know, it, it, we're looking at a private school right now, so is, is there a possibility of, of, of heading to the school, learning some of these, the tools that th this child needs, and then eventually making it back into the mainstream system? Absolutely. The, um, every child is going to be different. Um, some people come with us and stay right for the 12 years. Um, some come in for two or three years and then go back into the regular system. Uh, it completely depends on the child, but we have all sorts of options. Okay, so that's looking in. How do people get in, in though, and, and uh, to understand, is my child viable for this program? How does that work? Uh, first thing to do would be uh, to give us a contact, send me an email or our director, Cheryl Ward, uh, and we can chat with you and figure out uh, you know, who your child is and what their profile is and whether they need to do a psychological test or whether we can bring them in and, and, uh, and support them ourselves. It really kind of depends on the child. So if you're not sure, contact us and we'll talk and, and go from there. Okay, uh, really interesting information. Uh, and I guess, too, school year is right around the corner, so this is uh, the crunch time. That's right, heading back there right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're heading into an, open school, an empty school for an, an, uh, one more week, and then it starts to get incredibly busy. Right. Uh, you can find more information on the, uh, the website listed below. Uh, the school, once again, Heritage Academy of Learning Excellence. Best of year, with the, best of luck with your school year.